Hey, gorgeous. It's Molly. I am here. Let's see who we're going to do a reading for. Who's this for? Who's this reading? Ooh. Okay, so it's this one. Scorpio, for you. Scorpio, I had a... They all flipped up. Leo, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Down here. Four of Pentacles. Hot shit. <clears throat> all right, what's going on with our Scorpio friends? Hi, Scorpio, it's Molly. Hello. I'm here today to do a quick read. To see it tap in for you today. See what's going on. See what you're supposed to be talking about. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on with our Scorpio friends? Come on, Scorpio. Sorry, it's the cat. Sorry, it's the wands. Something's done. You're done with the cycle, Scorpio. Ah, you know what? I forgot to turn that light on so you can see the cards better. All right. You ready? I'm ready. I had to do this fast. Somebody's coming to pick me up. All right. Scorpio. What's going on with our Scorpio friends? The scorpions. What's going on with them? Ooh. Ooh. Somebody's stepping up to give a boom boom. So somebody has decided they want to give a love offer. Tell us more. Tell us more. Got a flip. You may be feeling like going from one place to another, leaving like a messed up situation to go to a more uh, calmer one. And you're headed towards your wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Look at how happy this baker man is with all his cups of emotion. You may be baking something today. All right. Um, I usually only take uprights. You may be just getting over a broken heart and really like stepping into loving yourself or you're concerned that you might be like, have some third party issues or wondering about that kind of thing. All right, tell us more. You want to have a serious discussion about it. Because you're scared of getting yourself into something that isn't good for you, might be toxic or something like that. But the bottom of the deck has the three of pentacles and that's telling you, um, you know, of course, everybody, this is a gen general reading, use your discernment with whoever you're hanging out with for sure, but the bottom of the deck is, is the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles stands for uh, coming together, using your um, your skills and your abilities to come together to create something cool. All right, tell us some more. What else do you have for Scorpio? Celebration. Feeling a little nervous. You might be uh, unsure whether this is for you. You might be feeling that. The cards certainly look like it. Ooh, look what just fell in my lap. The end of a cycle. This is great. You may have felt bad, you know, backstabbed in the past. You may have gone through something pretty hardcore, but this is the end. You're done now. It's the end of the cycle. Here's the Nine of Swords, too. This is up at night. Anxiety. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? Just driving yourself full on bonkers. Yeah, guess what? End of it. Because there is this hot motherfucker that you want to give. All you think about, they might have, they might, you might work with them. Um, they intrigue you. It's all you can think about. They spice up your day. All right, Ooh. got a flip here. And we have the Fool showing Scorpio. This is a message to take the leap, start the journey, see what happens. 
All right, Scorpio, there's your message for today. Um, if you like how I read, hit like and subscribe, and you can join the Star Gang and hang out. We just, uh, I pull some cards every now and then. We will try to learn life lessons through positivity, and every now and then I'll talk about something kind of deep. All right, peace out, Scorpio. Love you. You know, it's like such a grand exit when I'm all, peace out, love you, and then I can't turn off my goddamn phone. <laughs> oh my God. Clearly we're meant to stay together for a little bit 